Hi guys, this is Victor. Uh, thanks for joining my video today. We'll be working on hips and shoulders today, most of it. And uh, we need a mat. If you have some blocks at home, you can set the blocks to the top of your mat if you need them. And let's just start in hero's pose, sitting at the center of the mat. Put your knees together. Uh, if you need more support for your hips, you can bring your heels, your ankles further apart and place a block underneath your sitting bones that will release some tension on your knees, if needed. And to start with, just slow down the breath, in and out through your nose, inhale and exhale even. And point your tailbone down, draw the navel leaning up, roll the shoulders back, chest through, expanding the entire torso. And gradually, you can allow the breath to get slower and deeper. Try to stay connected to the sound of the breath the best you can. And keeping heavy on your hips. With your next inhale, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Keep spinning the triceps forward, biceps towards your ear. Still hugging the navel lean so you're not overarching the lower back. Bend your right elbow. And hold your right elbow with your left hand. Place your right hand in between your shoulder blades. Keep pointing your tailbone down to the floor. Firm the back of your head to your right forearm. Keep moving the shoulders back, chest forward. And the breath still traveling through the entire torso. Keep the breath heavy through the back of your throat. A couple more breaths here. Slowly inhale, release, reach your hands up again, keep squeezing the triceps, both arms straight. Bend your left elbow, hold the left elbow with the right hand, place your right hand in between the shoulder blades. Keep lifting the frontal hip bones up, moving the heads of your shoulders back, chest through, and firming the back of your head to your left forearm this time. Keep sending the breath all the way to the top of your chest. Keep taking deep, slow breaths. Release, reach up again. Interlace your fingers, flip your palm, and reach both of your palms towards the ceiling with your fingers interlaced. Point your tailbone down. And reach a little more with your back ribs here. Try to keep your arms straight. If you notice your elbows are bending, reach your hands slightly forward. But try to keep your arms as straight as you can. Without arching the lower back. Maybe look up in between your hands for breath. Reach a little higher. Exhale, release. Plant your hands next to your knees. And if it is okay for your wrists, flip your palms. Have your fingertips pointing back towards the back of your mat. We'll do a few cat and cow here, still in hero's pose. So if I inhale, shoulders back, chest through. Arch your back, lift the top of your chest up. Exhale, point your tailbone down, draw the navel in. Spread your shoulder blades as wide as you can. And tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, reverse like a cow pose, arching, exhale, tailbone down, draw the belly button in, round your back, hollow your chest. One more time, inhale, arch, exhale, round your back again. Bring your spine back to neutral, release your hands, Make a few circles with your wrists, three times counterclockwise, three times clockwise, and some swim or stretch with your arms. Use the tension on the shoulders. And uh, plant your hands at the top of your mat, take your toes under, and move into your first downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet a few times if you need to, 
release your hamstrings slowly. Otherwise, just find stillness here, reaching the heels down to the floor. Try to spin your inner thighs slightly back so you're hiding your heels behind your ankles. And keep firming the heels down to the floor. Reach the hips back. And the weight even on both of your hands. Try to bring more weight in between your thumb and your index finger. So you are releasing some of the tension from the outer wrist. A few more breaths here. The gaze can go towards your toes or to your navel. Draw the chin slightly towards your chest. A few more breaths. Keep your legs active. Come forward into plank pose. You can really long through your legs, reaching back with your heels. Keep tucking your tailbone, tailbone pointing towards your, your heels. Shoulder blades really broad. Keeping your neck aligned with the rest of your spine. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Come forward into plank pose again. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, plank pose. Keep moving your shoulders forward. Bend your elbows into chataranga. Keep your quads squeezing and lower all the way down to your belly. Point your toes back until your kneecaps come off the floor. From here, interlace your fingers in behind your back and keep squeezing your quads, squeezing your legs, reaching the toes as far back as you can. Inhale, raise your chest off the floor, keeping your neck aligned with the rest of your spine and lift your hands away from your glutes. Vashalabhasana. Three slow breaths. Keep pointing the toes back, reaching the top of your chest forward. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands next to your rib cage. Come into Bhujangasana one time. Cobra, broaden your chest. Heads of the shoulders back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale straight on your arms into upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Keep uh, lifting through the right inner thigh so the right toes are pointing down to the floor. And keep pushing the left heel down. Shift forward into plank, reaching the right leg. Bring your right knee into your right elbow. Hold. Lower the right knee into the right wrist. And bring the right foot all the way towards your left hand. Lower down into a pigeon pose. Slide your left knee back as much as you need to. Place your hands outside your mat. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up one more time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. This time, lower your right hip all the way to the right. Bring your right chin parallel with the front of the mat and walk your left knee forward. So you will find these two 90 degree angles on your knees and onto your hips as well. It's called the 90-90. So you have external rotation on the front leg, internal rotation on the back leg. Place both of your hands outside the right leg. Lift your chest, expanding the right side of your waist. From here, drive your left knee down to the floor and try to pick your left foot off the floor. So you're getting a bigger internal rotation on the hip socket of the left leg. Maybe your left foot lift only one inch of the floor. Maybe it doesn't lift at all, but do the action of internal rotation. And then set your left foot down to the floor. Bring both hand, walk your left hand around to the other side. Lift both of your knees and bring both of your knees to the back of your mat. Still on those uh, 90, 90 angles on both of your legs. From here, twist towards your right leg. So you're trying to move your left shoulder towards your right knee. And you'll feel a bigger stretch here on the outer glute. And keep the breath still slowly and even in and out through your nose. Again, lift your knees up again. Both knees to the front, 
One more time, 99. Plant your hands in front of the right shin. Walk your left foot back. Step back into downward facing dog. Push your heels down. Get really long through the back side of your body. Behind your legs. Behind your torso. Inhale, raise your left leg through the inner thigh so your left toes are still pointing down to the floor. Push your right heel down. Come forward into plank. Shoulders over the wrists, shoulder blades broad. Bring your left knee into your left elbow. Hold for a breath. Lower your knee into the left wrist and bring your left foot behind the right hand. Lower down into pigeon. Slide your right knee back as much as you need. Hands outside your mat, fingertips on the floor. Inhale, broaden your chest. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. And as you lift your chest up again, this time lower your left hip to the left, left shin parallel to the front of the mat, walk your right knee forward. Again, two 90 degree angles, both hands outside your left leg, keep twisting, and feel a deeper stretch through the left side of your waist. Drive your right knee down to the floor, push it down, and try to pick your right foot off the floor. And keep that action of internal rotation from the right hip socket. Keep holding the right foot off the floor as much as you can. Maybe your foot's not even lifting off the floor, and that's okay. And then set your foot down. Bring your right hand around, both hands behind your hip. Lift your knees up, both knees towards the back of your mat. This time you, you will start twisting, bringing the right shoulder towards your left knee. So you feel a deeper stretch again on the outer glute. More internal rotation on the left hip socket this time. Both knees up again, 99 to the top of your mat. Bring your hands in front of your left shin, walk your right foot back, and step back into downward facing dog. Okay. Push the heels down, firming in between your thumb and your index finger, spinning the triceps down to the floor. Broaden the collarbones. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need here so your lower abs touch the top of your thighs. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your finger, and then try to keep your, uh, the palms of your hands touching. Engage your triceps and fold over your legs. Bring more weight to the base of each toe so you get a little lighter on your heels. Move the hips slightly forward. Release the tension on the neck, crown of the head hanging down. Release your hands, bring your fingertips down to the floor. You can keep your knees bent as much as you need. Come halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Two more times, inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, as you fold, plant your hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward into downward facing dog. Firm your heels down. Push the floor away from you. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Try to keep your shoulders uh, squared with the floor. Reach the right heel towards the left. Try to lift your knee a little higher. Reach your right leg back. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your knee into your nose. Shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose. Exhale, reach back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose one more time. Spread your shoulder blades wide. Step your right foot in between your hands, left knee down to the floor. Keep your left toes tucked under. Inhale, low lunge, reach your hands up to the ceiling. 
Keep pointing the tailbone down to the floor, hugging the navel in and out. Again, bind your hands behind your back, reach your knuckles down to the floor, roll the shoulders back and the chest through. Send the breath all the way to the top of your chest, broaden, and then bring both of your hands to the right side of your waist, left ear towards your left shoulder, into this side neck stretch. Try to go a little deeper into the left hip. Feel a deeper stretch on the front side of your left leg by pointing the tailbone down to the floor and lifting the frontal hip bones up. Release your hands, reach your hands up to the ceiling again. Lift your left knee off the floor. Then lengthen the left leg without arching the, the left, the, I mean, without arching the lower back. Try to straighten the left leg as much as you can. And then exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Take a deep breath, twist a little deeper. Exhale, right hand down, step back into plank. Bend your elbows, come halfway down, chataranga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Try to move your left shoulder further down, trying to keep your shoulders and your chest as aligned as you can with the floor. Reach your left leg back to the leg of dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale through leg of dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose, hold for a breath, hollow your chest. Step your left foot in between your hands, right knee down. Then firm your left heel back, right knee forward, engaging the back of your left leg, the front of your right. Reach both hands up into low lunge. Again, reaching more with your back ribs. Interlace your fingers behind your back again. The other thumb on top this time. Reach the knuckles down, roll the shoulders back, chest forward. Deep, slow breaths. Bring both hands to the right side of your hip, right ear to right shoulder, a side neck stretch. And as you keep lifting your frontal hip bones up, try to bend your left knee a little deeper. Get a little deeper into the front side of your right leg. And breathe. Release, reach your hands up. Pick up your right knee off the floor into a crescent pose. Keep reaching, hugging the navel in, and then place your right hand down to the floor, left hand up, a deep inhale, twist. Exhale, left hand down to the floor, step back into plank. Hold plank, step your feet together. Roll to the outside of your right foot, Reach your left hand up to the ceiling. Keep squeezing your thighs so you have a lot of stability through the right side of your torso. Squeeze your oblique muscles. Place your left hand behind your back, wrap it. Half bind. Place your left foot on the floor, come into this one arm plank. Try to lower your left shoulder so your shoulders are aligned. Set your left hand down to the floor. Pull your hips back into downward facing dog. Come forward into plank again. Step your feet together. Roll to the outside of your left foot. Reach your right hand up to the ceiling. Again, flexing both of your feet. Squeezing your quads, the oblique muscles. Flip your palm back. Wrap your right arm behind your back. Keep stacking the shoulders. Place your right foot down, one arm plank. And lower the right shoulder down so your shoulders are aligned. Keep squeezing your quads. Set your right hand down to the floor. Pull your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Again, keep reaching the heels down. Weight even on both of your hands, just low deep breaths. Inhale, looking between your hands. Raise your heels as high as you can. 
bend your knees a lot, you can either step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach all the way up. Maybe allow your palms to touch, looking between your hands. Hands to heart center. Samastiti. Sun salutation A. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, you can either step or jump back into Chataranga. Halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Three slow breaths. Again, lengthen. Legs really active. Inhale, looking between your hands. Raise your heels, bend your knees. Step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen Ardha Uttanasana. Plant your hands, step or jump back. Chataranga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three slow breaths again. Weight even in both of your hands. Bring your gaze forward, raise your heels, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, lengthen, reach the chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, straight back, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up. And then plant your hands, step or jump back, halfway down. Chataranga Dandasana. Inhale, go through up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Still reaching your heels down, pushing the floor away from you. Try to get a little deeper into your armpits by spinning the triceps down, reaching the chest towards the front of your thighs. Reach your right leg up and back. Bring your knee into your nose. Hold for breath. Step your right foot in between your hands. Come up into crescent pose. You can start with a small bend on the left knee so you can lift your frontal hip bones up. Start reaching the right heel back, the left heel back. Bring your left arm under the right into Garudasana. Keep raising the elbows away from the floor and move the hands slightly away from the face. Lean forward. Cross your left leg over the right into eagle pose. And here you can cross it once or twice, see what works best for you. And keep the breath slow and even. Bend your right knee a little deeper. Release the cross of your legs, release the cross of your arms, moving to warrior three. Keep the left toes pointing down to the floor and keep your arms in airplane wing here. Reach the left heel back as you reach the chest forward. Three more slow breaths. Keep hugging the navel in to support your lower back. Start bending your right knee Bend your left knee, squat all the way down. And uh, so your right foot is outside your left knee. Place your right hand behind your hip. Inhale, raise your left arm up. Exhale, twist. You can either hug your right knee with your left arm or place your left elbow outside your right thigh. Keep twisting. Inhale, raising the chest up. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. The breath still is low and even. 
One more breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Slowly and twist. Place your right hand outside the right pinky toe. You can use a block here or not. Come straight into half moon pose. The hand can go over the block. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor. And you can reach your left hand up to the ceiling. Keep reaching back with your left, your left heel as you reach your chest forward. And maybe hover the right fingertips off the floor to challenge your balance a little more. Keep stacking the shoulders. Three more slow breaths. Again, the breath is still slow and even. If you lose the balance, come right back into it. And then as slow as you can, bend your right knee. Make your way back into Trikonasana, triangle pose. From the right big toe down to the floor, peel the chest up to the ceiling. Energize both of your arms so there's a straight line from your right hand all the way to the top. And then inhale, reverse triangle. Expand the right side of your waist. Bend your right knee. Circle your hands down to the floor. Step back into plank. Moving to Chataranga. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Firm your heels down. Raise your left leg with an inhale. Bring your knee into your nose. Squeeze your left thigh towards your chest. Set your left foot in between your hands. Lengthen as you inhale. Reach your hands up. Crescent pose. Point your tailbone down again. Firm the right heel further back. Wrap your right arm under the left this time for ego arms. Raise your elbows away from the floor. Move your hands away from the face. Lean forward. And move into eagle pose, crossing the right leg over the left. Bend your left knee deep. You can cross your legs once or twice, no problem. Raise your elbows a little more. Keep your gaze steady to help with your balance. Spreading the shoulder blades really wide on the back. Uncross the legs, uncross the arms. Move straight into warrior three with airplane wings. Keep your right toes pointing down to the floor. Try to bring the torso and the right leg as parallel as you can with the floor. Pushing back with the right heel. Lengthening the upper back by reaching your chest away from the belly. Bend your left knee and bring the right knee also bent behind the left knee. Squat all the way down to the floor. Bring both sitting bones down to the floor so the left foot this time is outside the right knee. Place your left hand behind your hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, you can hug your right, your left knee with the right arm or bring the right elbow outside the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep finding a lot of length through the torso here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Slowly untwist. Set your left hand outside the left pinky toe, straight into half moon pose. And you can use a block again here if you need the block. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor. Maybe you hover your fingertips away from the floor. Right leg really energetic here. Keep reaching back with the right heel. Stacking the shoulders. Three more slow breaths. And then as slow as you can, make your way back into Trikonasana. The hand can go over the, the shin. You can use the block. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor. Peel the chest up to the ceiling. And keep pushing the outer edge of your right foot down. So the right quads are engaging. Firm the hips in. 
inhale, reverse triangle. Bend your left knee to a right angle. Circle your hands down. Step back into plank. Chataranga Dandasana, halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can keep the heels reaching down to the floor. Look in between your hands, raise your heels high, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach all the way up. Bring your hands together. Samastitihi. Now step your feet about as wide as your mat. Toes pointing out to the sides. Squat down into Malasana with your hands together. Elbows inside your knees, weights to your heels. Lifting your chest up to the ceiling. Keep your chest as broad as you can. Set your left hand in front of the left foot. Open the chest up. Find a small twist on the torso. And maybe wrap your left arm around the left shin, binding your hands behind your back. And keep twisting. Slow deep breaths. Let go of it, come back to the center. Lengthen first, and move to the other side. Right hand in front of the right foot, firm the arm to the leg, open up, and maybe wrap the arm around the shin again. Bind your hands behind your back, and keep lengthening the upper back by reaching the chest up and to the left. Three little reps. Release. Come back into Malasana. You can stay here for a few breaths. Maybe take into Bakasana and plant your hands. Bring your knees as high as you can into your triceps. Firm again the base of your thumb and the index finger. Shift forward and pick your feet off the floor. You can punch your toes back. Reach your heels towards the glutes. Five breaths here. And then you can either step or jump back. Into Chataranga, inhale, upper facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. If an inhale, raise your right leg up and back, bring your right foot in between your hands as low as you can, spin the left heel down so your left foot's flat to the floor, come up into warrior two. Bend your right knee deep, from the heels down to the floor, from the heels towards each other so you feel the inner thighs engaging. Bend your right knee, I mean, bend the right elbow. Like we did in the beginning, hold the right elbow with your left hand, right hand in between the shoulder blades, and do a side bend here like a reverse warrior with these half gomukasana arms. Then release, come back into warrior two, and then side angle pose. Reach the left arm up, maybe you wrap into a half bind. And if you have the full bind, you can wrap the right arm under the right thigh. Bind your hands behind your back and stack your shoulders. Keep driving the right heel down to the floor so you're not dumping the weight of your torso on top of your thigh. And breathe. Again, keep peeling the chest up to the ceiling. Release the bind if you have it. Come into reverse warrior. Exhale, circle it down. Step back into plank. And from here, you can take a vinyasa or you can skip it. Move it through up dog to downward facing dog. Again, lengthen the breath. Legs, the torso. Reach your left leg back through like a dog as you inhale. Knee to your nose. 
as slow as you can, set your left foot in between your hands, right heel spins down, come up into warrior two. Again, firming both of your heels down. Stack your shoulders above your hips, and then bend your left elbow, hold your left elbow with the right hand. Firm your head towards your left forearm. And then do a small side bend here. Expand the left side of your waist, like a reverse warrior. Send the breath to the left rib cage. Come back into warrior two. Left forearm on top of your thigh. Reach your right arm up. Side angle pose. Take into a half bind. Peel the chest up. Open up the chest. And maybe you take into a full bind, wrapping the left arm under the left thigh. Still stacking the shoulders. And again, avoid dumping the weight on top of your thigh by pushing the left heel down and create some lift. Lifting the left side of the waist away from your left thigh. Keep squeezing the right quads. Three slow breaths. Slowly release, deep inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, circle your hands down to the floor. Step back into plank. And then we, for without a vinyasa, make your way into downward facing dog. Push your heels down. Take a deep inhale. Five low breaths. Raise your right leg again. Step your right foot in between your hands. Come up into crescent pose. Hands to heart center. Lean forward, lengthen. And then twist to your right. Any variation of this crescent twist you can keep here pushing the palms together, bringing the thumb at the center of your chest so you can stack your shoulders. Maybe you open the arms wide and maybe you take into the full bind. Wherever you are, keep lengthening the torso by reaching the chest forward, stacking the shoulders. Slowly release, both hands down to the floor. Step your right foot outside your right hand into this lizard lunge. Spread your fingertips really wide here. Bring the weight towards your thumb and your index finger. From here, you'll bring your left leg in between your arms, reach your left leg all the way and take into an eight angle pose. Bend your arms like in Chataranga and straighten your legs. Try to square your shoulders. And come back into lizard. Send the left leg back. Inhale, raise your chest up. Exhale, both legs straight. Again, inhale, lift your chest, sink deeper into your hips. Step back into plank. Chaparanga, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And with an exhale, downward facing down. Three slow breaths. Keep lengthening, reaching the hips up and back away from the shoulders. Raise the left leg up and back. Bring your knee into your nose. And then slowly left foot in between your hands. Lengthen with an inhale. Come up into crescent pose. And soften the breath, soften the gaze, hands to heart center. Lean forward and take any variation of crescent twist that works for you. Pushing the palms together, maybe the arms open wide. And if you have it available, you can take the full bind. Keep reaching the right heel as far back as you can. 
stacking the shoulders. Three breaths. Slowly release. Bring your hands down, step your left foot outside your left hand. Plant your palms down, spread your fingers wide. Again, more weight on the inside of your wrist, in between your thumb and your index finger. Hollow your chest. Bring the right leg in between your arms. Send the right leg all the way to the left and take the angle pose. Bend your elbows. Try to square your shoulders with the floor. Three more slow breaths. Come back into lizard. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, both legs straight, hips back. Again, lengthen one more time. Then step back into plank. Bend your elbows halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your knees down to the floor. If you have a block or a book at home, I like to use the block for this one. I have some tight surfer shoulders. And this brings more stability to my shoulder girdle, to my shoulder blades. Come into a forearm plank. Keep pushing the palms down to the floor. Point the tailbone towards your heels. Hugging the navel in and up. Shoulder blades broad. Lift your right foot off the floor. Bring your right knee into your right triceps. Send it back. Lift your left foot. Left knee to left triceps. Send it back. Two more times. Lift your right foot. Knee to triceps. Step it back. Lift your left foot. Knee to triceps. Send it back. Last time. Right foot up. Knee to triceps. Send it back. Lift your left foot. Knee to triceps. Send it back. Place your knees down to the floor. Take a few breaths in child's pose. If you want to release the tension of the shoulders, reach your hands back. You can hold on to your feet with both of your hands. Again, slow deep breaths. Come back up into your knees. Place your hands again. If you're using a block, if you don't use the block, it's okay. I prefer using the block for this one, my personal choice. From the palms down to the floor, push the forearms down actively so your shoulder blades get really wide. Come back into forearm plank. Walk your feet forward into dolphin. Keep reaching your shoulders and your, I mean, keep reaching your chest towards the front of your thighs. You can stay right here. Maybe lift one leg up and take into pinch of my wrist in a forearm balance. From here, still pushing the forearms down to the floor as much as you can, hugging the navel in and up, pushing the legs together and pointing your toes. Stay here for 10 breaths, or maybe you start kicking up, maybe take a few breaths, jump pose, come back up again. And slowly start reaching down. And let's all take a break in child's pose. And then reach your hands back. Relax your shoulders. You can rock your head side to side. Breath still slow and even. Reach your hands back forward, going through the tabletop to downward facing dog. Reach your heels down, release the crown of the head down to the floor. Give a small step forward, about three quarters to the middle of the mat, set your knees down, 
So it'd be like in the beginning of the class, in hero's pose, maybe use the block again in between your ankles if you need more support for your knee, for your hips. Either way, with or without the block, still works best for you. Come up slightly, bring your hands in front uh, on top of your calves, pull your calves to the sides bring, uh, to create more space for the back of your thighs. From here, tailbone reaches down, chest up, hands on top of your thighs. Maybe this is all you need. You can stay right here. You don't have to go any further. Maybe some of you will bring your hands behind your feet, lean slightly back. And keep reaching the, the front of hip bones up so we are targeting the front side of our legs, the hips, the psoas muscle. Broaden the chest, reach your chest up. Some of you will bring the elbows down to the floor. And if you feel still have more space, you can lay all the way back into Supta Virasana. And what I like to do here, I like to put my hands on my heels and push it. So I feel my spine lengthening, the side of my waist lengthening. And stay here for five breaths. Deep inhales and deep exhales. As slow as you can, raise back up. Sit back in Virasana. Take a few breaths here. You can roll the shoulders back, chest through. Maybe close your eyes for five breaths. And try to bring the awareness again on how your breaths move in your entire body, how the force of prana goes up and down through your spine. Open your eyes again. Move your hips to the sides. Bring your legs around. Lay down on your back. Set up for bridge. Have your feet about as wide as your hips, toes pointing straight forward. And you can feet can also, your feet can stay a little wider than the hips as well. Everyone's different. Everyone's going to look a little different on this one. Palms of the hands down. Inhale. Bring the shoulder blades closer together. Raise your hips up. Maybe hold the outsides of your mat, pulling the mat apart. Maybe interlace your fingers. And reach your knuckles towards your ankles. Keep pushing down with your heels. Spinning the inner thighs. Down so your knees don't open too wide. Then release your hands, roll your spine one vertebrae at a time down to the floor. Take a few slow breaths. We'll come back into bridge pose. If you practice Urdhva Dhanurasana, a profession bow, you can take a deeper back bend if you'd like to. For that, bring the hands Next to your ears, then you can come to the crown of your head first. If you need to readjust your hands, you can do so. And then you can try to straighten your arms, reaching with your chest. Five slow breaths. Slowly set it down. Cross your right leg over the left. And if you have the double wrap, you can take eagle legs here. Wrap it once or twice. Open the arms to the sides, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lower your legs to the left. Firm your right shoulder down to the floor. Again, the breath still traveling through the entire torso. Feel a little more expansion on the right side of your waist. Try to release a little more with all this stuff around your hips. Slowly and twist. Switch the crowns of your legs. And you can cross it once or twice again. Maybe take into 
Eagle Legs. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, legs all the way to the right. Releasing the left shoulder down. So both shoulder blades are touching down. Maybe you can place your right hand on top of your left thigh. And slow, deep breaths. Keep releasing on each exhale. Come back up and cross your legs. Bring your knees into your chest. And you can rock back and forth a few times until you can come into seated. Have both of your legs straight. We'll start with our right leg. Start right here in Dandasana, bend your right knee. Bring your right ankle outside your left hip. Into Ardha Gumukasana. Flex the left foot, keep pushing the left thigh down to the floor. From here, lengthen, reaching your chest up. Exhale, you can start walking your hands forward. Keep finding the seating bones down on the floor. And you can keep your hands down, maybe hold on to your ankle, maybe hold to your feet, to your foot, I mean. Stay for five slow breaths. up slowly. Now we're taking to Gomukasana legs. You bend your left knee as well. Find both sitting bones on the floor. If your sitting bone is coming up away from the floor, you can use a block, maybe a blanket to prop yourself up so both sides of your waist are even. Then you can stay straight up. Use the block if you need to, maybe a book, maybe a pillow. Again, inhale, you lengthen. And exhale, Walk your hands forward. Maybe stay with your torso straight up. You don't have to go forward or out here. I'm just targeting the outer glute on the right leg and a little on the left, but it's deeper on the right. Five slow breaths. Bring it back up. Now you'll slide your left shin parallel with the top of the mat. And maybe you'll take into a double pigeon here. Maybe you take it into Sukhasana. So it works best for you today. You can cross the shins right at the center. Maybe you stack your shins. Place your hands in front of your legs. Lengthen your torso. And as much as you need, no need to go too deep. See what, what your body needs fold forward, and if you have something there, you can rest your forehead on the block or on anything else that you have. We'll stay on this one for a little longer. And keep sending the deeper inhales all the way down to the bottom of your belly. Try to create more space your hip and at the bottom of the exhale start to release the tension releasing a little deeper into your body into your mind try to stay as soft as you can with your breath. Just keep watching your thoughts, but don't try to suppress your thoughts. Just watch them, acknowledge them, and let them go.
just need to come back up. Reach above flag is straightforward. Sitting on Dasana again. The flag is active. Land to the torso. Bring your left ankle. Left heel outside your right hip. Flex your right foot into Ardha Gomukhasana. Again, lengthen. And then exhale. Fold as much as you need. Five slow breaths. Come up. Take into Gomukhasana legs again. Bend your right knee. So both of your heels are close to the hips. And again, if you need to prop yourself up with the block, do so. Like we did on the first side. Then find your sitting bones. Sit tall first. Maybe stay right here. Maybe this is already enough for you. And maybe start hinging forward, hinging at right at the hip. Five slow breaths into these Gomukhasana legs. Trying to stay as soft as you can, as passive as you can with all the muscles. Bring it back up. And last one, you can take into Sukhasana or Double Pigeon. And if your knee is up in Double Pigeon, you can place a block underneath here, see where you are. To find your sitting bones again on the floor. Place your hands in front of the shins, lengthen the sides of your waist. And then walk your hands forward. And you're out. And you can always use a prop to rest your head. You can just allow your head to hang down. That's okay as well. About a minute on this one. And on each exhale, try to release anything like tension, thoughts, effort. Just let go of everything. And still watching your thoughts. As if you were standing on a bridge over a river and your thoughts were where the river flow. So it's just going, you're not trying to stop them. Bring it back up. Sitting on Dasana one more time. Reaching your legs straight forward. Flex your feet. Firm your sitting bones on the floor. And you can even pull the glutes to the sides so you can get your pelvis to tilt forward. Inhale, reach your hands up. Raise your chest. Exhale, fold into Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Five breaths. And then lengthen as you inhale. Reach your hands forward. As slowly you can roll down to your back. If you need to move yourself forward, 
So you have a space on the mat, roll your spine down to the floor, hug your knees into your chest, round your back, bring your forehead towards the knee, and release, bring your hands outside your feet for happy baby. Rock side to side a few times, reaching the sacrum and the tailbone towards the floor. Keep pulling down your feet, you get a little more flexion on your hips. And from here, take your time. If you need any other stretch on your back, you are welcome to do it. You're at home. Just don't do anything crazy right now. We're trying to set it down, taking into Shavasana. Bring your feet together. Take into the Supta Baddha Konasana. Reach the knees forward towards the front of your mat. And then release, let it go. Release your legs down, feet rolling open to the sides. Walk your shoulder blades underneath your chest, really broad. And slide your shoulders away from the ears. Bring your chin closer to your chest. More length in the back of your neck. Then you start letting go of everything. The bite in the back of your jaw. Any tension through your shoulders, hips, legs. This is the final pose. You can stay here for as long as you need. I'll leave you guys from here. I want to thank you all again for joining into my class. If you have any questions, you can leave the comments below. See you guys soon. Namaste.